Okay, uh, exercise five, which is on trigonometry. Um, so just trying to find some unknown sides and unknown angles in some triangles. So uh, we're going to be using a mix of Sokotoa, uh, Pythagoras, sine rule and cosine rule. So for this one, we've got a right angle triangle, so I know straight away it's going to be Sokotoa or Pythagoras. And we've got one angle, one side and one unknown side, so it's got to be a Sokotoa question. So I'm going to go ahead and label each of my sides. So here's my hypotenuse, because it's the longest side. Here's my adjacent because it's between the hypotenuse and the angle. And here's my opposite because it's opposite the angle that we know. So we want to find the opposite. We know the hypotenuse, so it's going to be a sine question. And we know sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 30 is going to be x, the thing I want, divided by 18. So I can times that by 18 and say x is 18 sine 30, get my calculator, which gives me an angle, uh, length of 9, so x equals 9 for that first one. Right, question 2, so we've got a, another right angle triangle, so it's got to be Sokotoa or Pythagoras. Again, we've got two sides, one angle, so it's got to be another um, Sokotoa question. So let's label everything up. We've got the hypotenuse there, the adjacent, and the opposite. Uh, so this time, we have the opposite, the adjacent, and the angle. So it's going to be tan this time. So I know tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent. So in this question, we get tan of 60 equals x over 9. So we can times that by 9 and say x equals 9 tan 60. Get the calculator out, 9 tan 60, which gives us a length of 9 root 3. Which, if you want to work out exactly, is 15.6-ish. But it's quite nice to do it exactly. Okay, question three, which I should think is going to be some Pythagoras by the looks of it. So, five, nine, theta, nope, talking rubbish. So this time we want to try and find theta. So let's label everything up. So our hypotenuse is here, our adjacent is here, our opposite is here. So it's tan again, but this time we want the angle, so it's going to be the inverse of tan. So tan theta equals O5 over A, which is 9. So in order to get theta, I'm going to go tan minus 1, which is inverse, or arc tan, 5 over 9, and that's going to tell me what theta is. So calculator, I'm going to go shift tan fraction 5 over 9, which gives us an angle theta of 29 point uh, one once we've rounded it up. Cool. Right, question four. Twelve point two, eight point seven, and there's theta. So I'd label things up again, hypotenuse there, adjacent there, opposite there. So this time we've got a sine question, we're trying to find the angle. So I know sine theta is the opposite, 8.7 over the hypotenuse, 12.2. So we're gonna go inverse sine, sine to the power minus one of 8.7 over 12.2. And that's gonna give us theta, so calculator. which gives us 45.5. Right, next one. So still dealing with a right angle triangle. There's theta, 12.2, 8.7. So label it all up again. H, A, O. So it looks like another sign question. Just did this one. 
So, question five. So, we no longer have a right angle triangle. 4.266 theta and 5.1. So, we want to try and find theta, and we know these angles. Um, now, once you've learned the sine rule and the cosine rule, it's quite clear that this is going to be a, a sine rule question because we have a pair there and a pair there. So, when you've got opposite pairs, it's a sine rule. So, we get sine theta over, even better, let's do A's and B's, sine A over A equals sine B over B. So sine theta over 4.2 is going to be equal to sine 66 over 5.1. So if we times up by 4.2, we get sine theta is sine 66 over 5.1 times 4.2 and we can calculate that and it gives us an angle of oh hang on sine 66 divided by 5.1 times by 4.2. So we get sine of theta equals 0 0.75. So inverse sine arc sine of 0 0.75 gives us 48.8 degrees. Okay, last one now. So we've got 3.7, we got A, we got 65 degrees, and we got 4.9. So this time it's going to be a cosine rule. I know it's cosine rule because cosine rule is always when you have an angle and two sides next to it, which is what we have here. So uh, the equation says A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. I'm just going to put everything into this equation. So B can be 3.7. C can be 4.9 minus 2 times 3.7 times 4.9 times cos of 60, 65 there. And that's going to equal a squared. So if we calculate that and then square root it, we're going to get 3.7 squared plus 4.9 squared minus 2 times 3.7 times 4.9 times cos 65, which gives us 22.4, square root that, and we get 4.7, so A equals 4.7, that's it.